Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A today. We are introducing this season's new three pocket blouson's. So three pocket blouson is this, it is what I'm wearing right now. Um, it is a kind of semi-casual, casual model that we do under our daywear sub-brand where all of the semi-casual things live at the armory. Um, we've done two fabrics this season. So we've done this, which is a navy cotton Panama weave. Very, very lightweight and breathable like that. And then we also have it in this oyster colored cotton pique weave. A little bit chunkier, but really with a beautiful, beautiful texture and still very appropriate for spring, summer. Okay, so let me talk about what I'm wearing right now. Um, so I've got obviously the Navy 3PB. I've got on our uh, Armory holiday shirt, well, daywear holiday shirt. So the holiday shirt is, uh, it's a one piece collar shirt, as you can see like that. One piece collar shirt. And, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time with the holiday shirt these last couple of months. I've really come to enjoy wearing it. I think what is so interesting about this particular shirt versus like other shirts that you might wear, like other button up shirts they might wear, is that this collar, because of its size and because it doesn't sit quite up as high on the neck, is actually very reminiscent of a knitted polo or even a t-shirt. You know, you can treat it really in a much more casual way than you might necessarily with say a button up shirt. And it goes really well with a lot of our day wear offerings. So it goes really well with stuff like this, the 3PB, or even our road jacket, you know, those kind of short cropped styles that we have been offering these last 18 months. Okay, let's do a little bit more styling. So obviously there's one way, navy 3PB, white holiday shirt, olive chinos, and a pair of um, cream colored Moonstar canvas sneakers, like that. But what else can we do with this? Okay, so here we go. Navy 3PB. Let's open it up for you. White denim is always a good option. Like, lovely contrast on that. Actually, on the navy, dark denim is also good. Like, the navy is just about the right shade. That dark denim really works like that, see? And, you know, in terms of a top, uh, for the dark denim, so many options. I actually quite like this brown. The brown is a little unexpected. Um, it's good. We offer this as a polo out of our own collection. Um, obviously white, great as well. This is a new color we're introducing. You should see stock of it fairly soon in our shops. Kind of an athletic heather gray, like that. Or one of my personal favorites, um, our everyday shirt in blue cotton linen. So, you know, just like different shades of blue going on, but looks really great together. You know, you've got all these different textures, all these different shades of gray going on. And uh, in a case like this, you can match it with something like, for instance, this. The tassel loafer in calf. You know, like tassel loafers, are very versatile. You can obviously wear them with sport coats. You can even wear them with suits. Uh, but I really actually like them with jeans. I think they're something, there's something very interesting about them with jeans. Other trousers that might also work. Uh, we have the Nigel Caborn Army Chino. So that's kind of our full leg chino. And this looks actually really interesting with three PBs because it gives you a kind of like slightly blocky and short at the upper body, long at the lower body appearance. Um, I really like it. And it actually suits our Hudson loafers surprisingly well because the Armory's loafers are built on a last called the Giro Last. And the Giro Last has got quite a round shape. It's quite a soft shape. So it works really well with fuller leg trousers as well. And in terms of tops, blue is great. Gray is okay. I really like the white. The white is fantastic. And the brown is okay, maybe a little too much. Okay. Um, if you are a fan of our sport chinos, there are a few others you could look at. Just like the classic khaki sport chino is really good as well, as so. And in fact, in a case like this, I wanted to bring out one more holiday shirt. Because I really like this one. Oh yeah. So this, oh, and by the way, here you can get a better view of that one piece collar. See that? So like, you know, a lot of people make one-piece collars, make really big one-piece collars. We actually like ours a little bit more like how they used to make it in the 40s, quite short in the collar points. 
and you can see that one piece construction there. I think that together with the cockies is a really interesting semi-casual, casual look. And uh, I actually like it with these, the Boda and Lang strides um, in brown suede. I think that's a lovely combination. Alrighty, why don't we look at some, uh, why don't we look at the other color of 3PB? So for the other color, this one, Oyster, I'm gonna start with the denim. Um, I just think the denim goes really beautifully with this because the way the textures interact. Also, I have to point out the buttons because I think the buttons came out really great on this particular 3BB. You know, we use a very natural colored horn button um, with just like the right amount of brown and like dark brown and light brown mixed together. Um, get that denim out again. So here you go. Looks great with the dark denim, like that. And then what would you put on top? Uh, I mean, again, like a lot of those shirt combinations will work again. Um, so there's that blue cotton linen. And stuff. But I really like white polo for this. I like white polo for this. I think that's super nice. And I also really like brown polo for this. This I think is really interesting, like a little bit of an unexpected preppy look. Um, I'm into this for sure. The brown polo is very underrated. Like most people never even thought of buying themselves a brown polo, but it can look so good with so many different things. Um, and then since we have the brown polo out, I really like this, the white denim. Like that feels just like really, really summery, almost a little French in a way. I love that particular palette together. Colors I would avoid with the Oyster, um, much as I'd love to tell you like the khakis work well, they don't really work all that well. Like this is not great. This is really all the wrong shades of brown, all trying to sit together and it just looks a little bit like a mushy mess. I would not do this. Um, I would definitely avoid the khaki in the Sport Chino. The Nigel Chino, which is a little bit darker and yellower, is not bad, but I think you could do better. I would jump all the way to olive or blue. I think the olive is quite fun and interesting. And maybe we switch this out for this. Or, you know, like, I personally, I actually quite like really subtle, low contrast things every once in a while. Like even with the heather gray, it's kind of interesting like that, right? Okay, and then finally, let's end with the blue Sport Chino. Uh, this is a new addition to the Sport Chino range. We previously only had it in a khaki and an olive, but we've added this quite bright, vibrant blue. It's a nice alternative to a pair of jeans. And with this, I would just jump straight to the white. You know, like very fresh, very crisp. Um, I really like that. And in terms of shoes, same ideas as always. You know, browns are the safest. Brown tassel loafer uh, or brown suede. Both work very well. And uh, that is about it for now. Now, this, this 3PB is available in store and online. So we have stock already and it's available to purchase. Um, if you like what you see, but maybe you're like, oh, I already have these colors in my wardrobe. We do do these as made to order. Uh, so if you wanted it in say, like oyster colored linen or like dark, dark chocolate brown linen, um, or even an olive green cotton, like we could absolutely do it for you. Uh, in fact, we've actually made some 3PBs made to order in silk as well. It's a very unusual look, but it looks really great. I, I was very pleased with how those turned out for a particular customer. Alrighty, that is about it for now. And thank you for watching.